What's happening, Cody? What's up, Dave? It is Tuesday, December 15th. Uh, fast times at Kroger Fitness. I think we missed last week because I had something. To, what did I have to do last week? I don't remember. I think we missed last week, though. We did. Um, so we're back. <sighs> Ready to party. I think I had a phone call. Um, so let's see. Anything new? Um, not at Kroger. Everything is just cruising right along at Kroger. We're still crushing it outdoors, even when it's cold. Um, everything is fine. The workouts have been awesome. Keep bringing your friends. Keep bringing the fitness. Keep bringing the positive vibes. And, uh, you know, as controversial as this vaccine is, for uh, who knows what reason, they're getting shipped and people are getting them. So Sweet. We're, headed the right, we're headed the right direction as long as it all – work um i can't wait to be breathing all over you you guys <laughs> and have us crammed into the gym like sardines again it'd be great <laughs> who would have thought we would have missed that cody I miss it every day <laughs> same here um okay we got some birthdays yeah some birthdays last week Oh man, I missed Carmen's birthday. Uh, next time I see her, I'll say, "What birthdays do we got?" We have uh, Jessica. I think it's uh, Benya, and Carmen's birthday. Um, their birthday was on the twelfth of Saturday, so just a few days ago. Uh, Sean Okamura was on Monday, December fourteenth, and then this week, uh, Coach Emily, who's I think in Washington D.C. now pretty sure still uh her birthday is this friday the 18th paula and ted's birthday are saturday december 19th and then Catherine p is monday december 21st that's a lot of birthdays in december happy birthday to everyone you guys get lucky you get basically presents the whole whole month yeah well jessica jess is in denver and Isla's birthday is the same day as Coach Emily's birthday. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Isla. I think I already said that. Isla is turning five. No, what am I saying? Oh. Isla's turning three. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Uh, sorry, my screen like did something weird while I was trying to like get to the notes. Uh, and that's why I messed up. Isla's turning three on Friday. Yeah, she's very excited. To be three years old. Um, we got a couple new members, Joe and Sophia. Um, so if you say if you see Joe or Sophia, Sophia was in class this morning with her dad Paul. Yeah, that's cool. See either of them, say what's up, give them an air high five, and welcome to Kroga. Um, and our member of the month for November was my boy Francis. Most of you probably know Francis. Francis is an absolute stud. He's also very friendly, um, and he comes to all different class times. So um, you probably know him. And if you see him sometime soon, we saw him this morning as well, um, give him a nice air high five and a congratulations for member of the month. Yeah. Um, what's our holiday schedule since that's coming up, Cody? Holiday schedule for Christmas, uh, as we normally do, we are going to be closed for three days for Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas, and the day after. So the Thursday through that Saturday, 24th to the 26th, we are going to be closed. But then um, that next, that Sunday, we are going to be back to our normal schedule. So Sunday will be our normal eight and nine, and then we get back into Monday and the normal schedule. Then New Year is going to hit, and then we will be closed on the 31st and January 1st, and then back to a normal schedule again on the 2nd. So, get a bunch the of The schedule in Pike 13 will be updated. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think I might have already done it. 
Um, so don't freak out. It'll show the days that are canceled or closed and the days that were open. Um, if you forget. And um, I know that we can't travel and spend sure. too much time with, um, well, close time with friends and family, but we hope you take the time to relax and just close out the year on a positive note. Maybe do something for yourself, go on a hike or um, take some time to do some reflection on what went on in 2020 and how you can have a great year in 2021. Um, if you are a Krogan Nutrition client um, and you have a check-in on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, we're going to um, probably push them. Uh, to before or after so just stay tuned for that your check-in might fall on a different day than than in the past um because i don't want the coaches working on the holidays cool um speaking of Kroger nutrition next sign up starts january 1st we're going january 1 to january 5th um the wait list is already filling up so if you are interested make sure to reach out now and get on that list so we don't run out of, a, of spaces for you. Um, I think there's already six or seven people on that list. So, um, you know, get your name in early. So our coaches can, uh, we can convince them to have bandwidth <laughs> for you when it comes time. All right. Um, we're gonna go in order too. If you got a coach that you want, um, definitely get on the wait list early because we can only have so many clients, each one of us. Uh, let's see. Nutrition tip of the week. You came up with this one. I think we've talked about it before, but it's probably been a long time. Um, and I don't know if we've ever talked about it on this podcast, but hit me with it. Um, <clears throat> if you are looking to make uh, things taste a little better without adding calories to it, then try adding some spices to whatever you are eating. This is like, uh, I think we did talk about hot sauce, which is kind of pretty similar. Um, yeah, maybe I was going to bring that up. Yeah. To do. So I think like the spices, you might have to experiment a little bit. Um, but there's always like, I saw somebody that had a uh, pumpkin pie spice. <laughs> so things like that, that basically they add no calories. If you look at all your spices, they'll add nothing, but it can make your food taste really good, especially if it's something that's not something that you enjoy eating, I guess, plain. Yeah, and also like look at, well, we talked about hot sauce, but also like look at marinades. Um, there's a lot of like extremely low calorie as long as they're not filled with sugar, they're usually pretty low or they have like nothing in them. Um, if you marinate your meat before you cook it, you know, the day before or something, you can add a ton of flavor with like basically no calories. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a good one. That's, this is what this and the marinade thing are exactly why Lean Feast exists and tastes good um and it's not bad for you right yeah. they spend the time to do that stuff um to make the meat solid instead of plain mm -hmm. uh programming notes um workout before... today was awesome by the way i didn't do it but <laughs> glad you like it, was, it. Uh, pretty cool to watch you would have enjoyed it um first i'm going to go back because i see i think there's a good amount of prs that i want to just get out Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Um, so CJ did this, I think, by himself. <laughs> um, but he ran a 10K in under 45 minutes. He ran a 44 minute and 30 second or 36 second 10K. Um, I heard about that. He said it was pretty tough, but under 45 minutes is really good. So good job, CJ. Congratulations. He also then hit a three rep max weighted strict pull up at 85 pounds. And then he PR'd his. 50 cal echo bike twice if you guys are on social media ever you've probably seen this he is doing 50 calories uh every time that somebody donates to me or dave 
um, for our Movember. He first he PR PR'd his 50 cal by 17 seconds, and then he did it again and got another three seconds. So total 20 seconds in the month of the PR. So did 50 calories on the Echo Bike in 40 seconds. And then Rocky PR'd his uh, max strict pull-ups at 22. It's a lot of strict That's pull-ups. That's a lot. Bro. Also is crushing it on WAG Nutrition. He is um, doing fantastic, really good, consistent drop there. And then Annie PR'd her 100 burpees for time. She hit 615 um, on this last Sunday. Um, what is it? Oh, a minute 23 PR. So that's huge. So good job, everyone, on those. Then I love it. And programming notes. Programming notes. Um, tomorrow, the at-home people and the Kroger people, just like today, are going to do the same workout. It's a little um, kind of like pyramid chipper, I like to call it, <clears throat> where you uh, start with a run, you do some sit-ups, then burpees, and then you go back to sit-ups and end with the run. Um, the rest of the week, if you guys like lifting weights, you got a little weight for each of the next four days. So you'll have a 15 minute AMRAP of uh, some kettlebell work. You'll have, or that's on Thursday. Um, you'll have some dumbbell shoulder overheads and some running on Friday, as long as it's not raining. And then we have a partner workout with some more dumbbells and some box step ups. And then uh, on Sunday, our um, basically our endurance day, you guys are gonna do a chipper of a row farmer's carry and run. So if you guys want to I like that. You guys can <clears throat> come Thursday through Sunday and you'll get some weights in. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, last couple things this week. Quote of the week is the greatest remedy for anger is delay. Uh, I like this one because it just te te takes you teaches you to take a step back and um maybe sleep on it oftentimes the next day you are more it might be hard to sleep but more level-headed and more well thought out with what you're thinking about so that's just one for life um and the question of the week is do you prefer white or multicolored christmas lights I feel like whenever I talk to people about this, it gets a little bit heated. <laughs> Strong opinions on this. I think I like I have a, a like a place for both of them. I kind of like the multicolored Christmas lights inside and the white Christmas lights outside. I feel like there's a place for both of them. Yeah, we always put color on our trees and we put white on our house yeah and we do have some arches in front of our house but those are candy cane colored <laughs> they're like red and white alternating nah. so that's the first though this is the first year i've had those With the arch um but i do like the way they look in red and white i don't know if i would like red and white all over my house but I don't know. You never know till you try, right? Yeah. I think I like them both. It's just, yeah. I think uh, from when I grew up, that's kind of probably how my house was all set up. Yeah. I do like now that they make big bulb like LEDs. So they're not like a thousand degrees. Yeah. And we have those on our miniature front yard tree and they look good. So maybe I'll venture out next year and get some more of those for <laughs> inside or somewhere on the house we'll see nice all right my friends let us know have a great week and uh we'll talk to you next week before christmas and um let's finish out the year strong yeah sounds good <clears throat> all right have a good day bye yeah